extra, extra, read all about it. Kaiser GX playing Paperboy. Hey guys, it's Kaiser GX. Checking out Paperboy. Uh, certainly a classic and one that I played a lot. I can't say it's actually one of my favorites, so I know this is technically a bad game. Uh, the, I never played the arcade version. I know it exists. I'm guessing it's better than this one. But you know what? This game has a soft spot in my heart. Uh, I don't think I ever paperboyed as a kid. Oh, no, no, that's that's a lie. I did uh, do papers for a local grocery market. I don't know if you guys know it. Uh, I think it was King Market at the time. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it was King Market because my dad worked there at the time. And I had like these buckets of uh, papers that I had to roll up. Ah, uh, shit. I forgot which... I forgot which uh, houses I'm supposed to throw the papers at. But yeah, I had to roll like so many buckets worth of like paper. And I don't even know how much I got paid. It's, it was either $20 or $40. I'm gonna guess it's 40 because I would have not have done it for $20. Uh, that thing wasted up my whole weekend. It's like... Spent two days. No, I spent like a day and a half rolling up the damn papers. And then the remainder of the Sunday, I'd go with my dad on the car. Not on the bike. I think that'd take too damn long. I'd go on the car with my dad. And both of us would just throw the papers out at the houses. Um, and then, oh, shit! And it looked like, that looks like Pearl from uh, Star of David. No, what the fuck? <laughs> Why did I say Star of David? I mean, uh, Steven Universe. I have some, I have some, I have some Jewish thoughts in my head right now, for some reason. Oh, uh, but yeah, like, uh, yeah, we both tossed them out. Oh, oh, yeah. In our town, we don't really have, uh, mailboxes. Most of the mail in our town gets delivered through the United States Post Office using the P.O. boxes. So luckily, I don't have to go over there and put it in their mailbox or, like, aim for the mailbox I just throw it on their driveway it's like the most I don't know, it's like the most like time consuming thing I've ever did in my child in my childhood but I'm pretty sure it was uh I'm pretty sure I got paid forty dollars for it though every week because I remember saying I remember telling my neighbor like hey man I'm gonna be getting like I'm gonna be able to buy a DS game every week and I think DS games were forty dollars at the time yeah, sometimes my neighbor would come and help me out. It wasn't always a bad thing, but it just took way too long. And then there was times where I tried to put, like... I tried to roll, like, a bundle of, like, ten papers together just to get it done quicker. And then my dad, like, sometimes catches me, like, Oh, man, what are you doing? Can't do that. I was like, why not? <laughs> yeah. It's something I, I, got, I guess I enjoyed doing, but at the same time, I, I did it. Just because I did get money out of it. And, you know, I I could just, like, watch TV while I did it, but, like, over time, like, there's, like, ink on your hands from rubbing against all that damn paper. You get paper cuts. The damn fucking smell of rubber bands I'm never gonna forget. So many damn rubber bands. And then sometimes the papers are too light where, you, like, you throw them and it only goes, like, a foot. It just falls on the ground. And again, I didn't pay attention to what... Which was I'm just gonna throw. You know what? I'm just gonna make it for all of them. I'm gonna force people to buy, pay the paper. I think I'm not supposed to be all the way over here. Ah! Let's get it. Now I think I saw in the AVGN uh, video. Yeah, people who are not subscribers, you can throw it out their window. So let's try it. I think it's the red ones. Get out of my way, death. Shit. You know what? This is actually a bit more fun than I remember. Did it... Ah, what the fuck? Tornado! Ah! Luckily, I've never been in a tornado in my damn life. That's the thing about living in the desert. There's, like, not much, uh... There's not much natural disasters that can get you. I mean, we have dust storms, but, like... That only happens, like, every so often. And it's not like it's not like it's there for like a whole damn day. It's not like a blizzard where you're like you have the blizzard going on 
Damn it. You have the blizzard going on and you're stuck in the house for like days because you're covered by snow. Paperboy calls it quits! Hurts! Oh, I thought that said something else on the left. You guys can rewind it and see what I thought it said on the left. Earns honors. Man, why does... Who the fuck cares about... The, why is that on the front of the news? Like, who the fuck cares? Paperboy calls it quits. Like, extra, extra, we all about it. Paperboy's a pussy. Couldn't do his job. In front of the paper, let's make fun of him. Pretty sure the red ones are not... Are unsubscribers. You know, I wish, I wish it was this easy to earn subscribers. You know, uh, YouTube subscribers, just throw a paper at their window, and you got a subscriber. Get in my way, little Cindy Lou. So, I, I wasn't at a time where we actually had, like, actual papers coming to our houses. We just had, like, uh, local... Local grocery market stuff, like with deals and stuff, but like, I wonder what it's like being ah. Wonder, oh, shit, now I'm on the other side. I can't go over there. I wonder what it's like uh to actually get like the paper delivered. I'm pretty sure you paid a service for that, didn't you? Because I mean, that was a storyline behind uh one of the Paper Boy movies, not based on this Paper Boy. I mean, it was a movie themed after Paper Paper Boys. I don't remember what the movie was, but that's something about him getting his money back from subscribers that didn't want to pay him or something. But you know what? I can see why it's not. We don't have that shit anymore. Ah! Doña Florinda! I see why we don't have that stuff anymore. Like, we don't have a. We don't really have a need for newspapers anymore with the internet. You can go ahead and seek out the uh, information instead of waiting every week to read about it. It's also wasting a lot of damn paper. Go away, dog! You know what? I'm not even going to try to play this as properly. I'm just going to try to get to the end of it. I've never gone, like, past Wednesday or something. And, you know, there's a... This game's cool. It's like, there's a... There's two ways to play this. You can either try to get to the end like I am, and that's, like, funny enough. Or you can try to do what you're supposed to do and get the score, but no one really cares about scores anymore. You know what though? Uh, I think arcade games like they didn't disappear; they just evolved into mobile games because a lot of the gameplay you see in mobile uh, has like the same design aspect as a arcade game. And usually those games are about scores and always sharing with your Facebook friends or whatever. Yeah. So in a way, that's cool. Uh, you know what? I guess like also, um, what is it? It's not. It's not DLC. What is it called? You know, when you're playing a play to, free to play game, and you have to pay, money for whatever. I forgot what it's called, but it's kind of the equivalent of having to pay money at the arcade, right? And because some people are like bitching, like, "Well, why do we have to pay money to play this game?" Well, remember we had to. In the arcades, we had to pay like twenty five cents every time we died. So not everything was golden back then. Fuck. Because look at it this way. Most uh, mobile games out there are like, what, one, three dollars? You're getting a lot more gameplay than we got for 25 cents back then at the arcades. Let me tell you that. Especially with a game that's like hard on like Pac-Man or Donkey Kong. At most you got to play like, what, like 10 seconds before you have to put another quarter? I couldn't go over there. That cabbage in their backyard. What? Speed this up. Speed run. Speed run. Shut. I was found fascinating how this in this game everything tries to kill you. Like why does nobody want paper anymore? Or is, or is it just like an exaggeration? Like, all of this is fake or like exaggerated. I, I saw that wheel coming out. All of it's like exaggerated in like the paper boy's mind. Like, this is what he's thinking. He's thinking the whole world's out to get him. But in reality, life's just going on. Maybe, maybe that's what the game's about. 
Because there are times where certain people that overreact to stuff, I'm thinking this is what's going on in their heads. Shit! Ah! Ah! I saw that death coming. I saw it. Pepperboy calls a quest mysterious vandalism baffled police. Oh wait, was it? Was it the paper, hero? Paperboy stops thief. I didn't stop anyone. A rough job, but that's kind of funny. On the newspapers, like a rough job, but somebody's got to do it. And then the next newspaper, Paperboy calls it quits. I wonder if there was like people who uh, like looked up to the Paperboys, like. Man, that paperboy was such a swole guy. No matter what happens to him, he never gives up. Damn it. He never gives up. And then the next paper's like, Paperboy's a pussy. Paperboy calls it quits. I just know those disappointed people. <laughs> Get on my way, dog. Get on my way. Get on my way. I don't know what that is. Oh, sh. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I really want to play the arcade version though, but there's no. I doubt any arcades around here are gonna have it. I think level 257 might have had it. If you know what that is, it's like a Pac-Man themed restaurant over at uh, Chicago or in the Chicago area. I've been there. Oh, I've been there a couple of times. It's really fancy there. It's really expensive though. It's nice though. There's a bunch of arcades everywhere. Stuff like Paperboy, Centipede, ah, Pac-Man Jr., which is, it's like half, half arcade, half machine, half pinball. Uh, there's also like memorabilia stuff, like old Pac-Man lunchboxes. There's a store where you can buy some stuff or other Bandai-themed uh, items. Whoa, that's ah, shit. It's real nice there. The best value you can get though, I think, is brunch. Like, brunch is delicious over there. And it's not that expensive for what you're getting. It's a brunch buffet. Damn it, during my birthday, I had... I had the chance to meet Billy Mitchell, and I... I just didn't go. Billy Mitchell's the... I think he's the first person to get the... To get to the kill screen on Pac-Man. You know that guy? Uh, he has like a... A U.S. colored uh, tie. He's got that Jesus hair and beard. Magnum hot sauce. You can buy Billy Mitchell's hot sauce over at 257. And uh, it just tastes like normal hot sauce. It doesn't taste anything special. Hopefully one day I get to go to his restaurant. But like if that's what his hot sauce tastes like. I don't want to travel all the way to it just for that. That tastes like tapatio. Okay, non-customers were the red ones. So I'm supposed to throw a paper at their window. So the sharp plays good this time. Got your paper. No! Fuck. Smash your window! Smash your window. Why does smashing their window get get them a subscription? Do you, like, do you like scare them off or... Hey, if you don't buy a subscription, I kill you. That's just a warning. Okay, we're doing good so far. Oh, oops. Does Double give me Double subscriptions? Let's 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 make this up 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 close and personal. Oh, got lucky there. How many papers do I have? Two more? Not doing that bad. I'd like to take this a uh, couple of seconds to say uh, this 8-bit 30 NES controller is helping me with this game. Uh, I'm getting top scores. So, ah! So please go and buy the 8-bit NES 30. Uh, I'm sponsored by 8-bit Doe. Uh, please give me the 8-bit Doe money, 8-bit uh, Doe. I'm just kidding, I'm not sponsored by them. I do love this controller though. 
Like I said, the Retron 5 controller. Ah! The Retron 5 controller is trash. Get this instead. And I think this will work with the NES 30 coming up because it says you can use your Wii, Wii U controllers. And this has a setting on it to emulate. Uh, well, you can't use it on the Wii. It emulates the Wii mode on its side. So I think you should be able to use it on the NES 30. Hopefully you can because I want to use this on it because the cords on that thing aren't long enough. And I don't know that's how the cords were on the original, but you know people people don't play like that anymore. They don't uh, they don't put their system like three feet in front of the TV. I just killed that guy. These controllers are cool though. I think they're I think they're just as good quality wise as the old NES ones, but. Like since they have that, uh, since they have that Super Nintendo button layout, I feel like uh, no. Since usually jump is B and Y is run, um, it's more er how do you say it? it's more ergonomic to have it this way instead of having it how the NES is where it's where it's like the buttons are like vertical, I mean horizontal. And now you can use the X and A for, um, what do you call it, um, damn it, what was that thing called? Turbo buttons, yeah, there we go. I mean, I like turbo buttons, I don't use it for every game, but like, for, I like using turbo buttons for like old games, because that's really when I use them. Uh, turbo buttons were a bigger thing back then, I guess. Especially with the NES Advantage. There was this mode that simulated uh, slow motion. But all it did was like automatically press the start button. So let me guys show you an example. This is, this is slow motion. It was just this. Just pressing start over and over. You know what? I'm going to see if that helps. I'm going to see if that helps. Whoa! Not bad. That's all it was. It doesn't work on all games though, because on this game when you pause it, it doesn't show anything. It just pauses. Some games have like the words pause on it or bring you to like a different menu. So it's not going to work good for those games. Luckily though, it should work for most, if not uh, a lot of early NES games. <sighs> Sounds like it took a shit. STOP MOVING AROUND! Shit. I don't, want to, I don't know what it is I like about NES games over like Super Nintendo. I know there's a lot better Super Nintendo games out there, but... Ah! And I know like I'm more nostalgic over the NES because that's the first system I had, but... I feel like because it's just two buttons, it's like simpler to get into. And usually because the gameplay is based around two buttons, you get like a simplicity, you can just like... Come in, play a bit, and then just like leave. Yeah. Oh! Paperboy calls it quits. Extra, extra, Paperboy got a spleen ruptured. Oh, made it to number eight. Well, I think it's gonna be the end for this video. I'm gonna leave my shit. Okay, I guess I ain't leaving any high score. That's going to be it for this video. See you guys later. Go ahead and look at some retro games. Play them. Get a nostalgia over the 80s and 90s. See you guys later.